Hi, my name is Lance Edminster. I'm pastor of the Grace Gospel Church. I'm going to share my screen here quick. I'm going to show you seven points of truth. This is used for the wallet gesture. You can see here that uh, when you do the wallet gesture, you want to make hit these points. You know, I've practiced wallet gesture a few times, and every time is probably a little bit different. Uh, but I, you know, try to hit these, you know, these truths, seven points of truth every time. You know, man's a sinner, wages of sin is death. Heaven's a perfect place. Man cannot earn his salvation. Christ died for your sins. Only believe you can know you have eternal life. I will uh, share this document with people and you can uh, use it, practice it, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna encourage you to you know, learn. I actually created a wallet here with some words on it that I use. But uh, every time I go to the jail, I tell the men when I do this, do it all the time. You know, in church, I do it all the time. But I tell, you know, I'm a sinner. I deserve to go to hell. There's nothing good in me that could earn salvation or do any good works. But you know what? Let me show you something. I mean, it's, it's a picture of God's love and his grace. And I say, let this hand here represent you and I, this hand here. And this wallet here represents our sin. Ultimately, God loves us. But you know what? For all have sinned. Sin is a barrier between God and mankind. Isaiah 59 tells us that it is a barrier. Now, wages of sin is death. Wages of sin is death. Somebody has to die for your sin. Heaven's a perfect place. So we're all sinners. Wages of sin is death. Heaven's a perfect place. Yet man, he's continuously trying to earn salvation through rituals, sacraments, tradition, and works of men. Yet man can never make a perfect sacrifice. You can try to cover it up all you want, but ultimately that barrier is still there. You know what? If you could earn salvation, if you know if rituals or sacraments or works or traditions of men could earn salvation, then why did Christ die? Well, we know they can't. But here's the good news: Let this hand you represent Jesus Christ, and just like you know, John the Baptist said when he's on the banks of the Jordan, he says, "Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world." How great is that? Christ was revealed in the flesh. He left his glorification. He revealed himself in the flesh. He's God from eternity past. And he come here for one reason and one reason only. And that's to die for all of our sins. According to the scriptures. For he hath made him to be sin for us who know no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Christ come to do one thing. And that's to die for the sins of mankind. He's paid for everyone. He was delivered for our offenses. And was raised for our justification. Now if you would believe that. Simply believe. That's it. So John 3, 16, for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. If you would believe what he did for you at the cross of Calvary, that he died on the cross for your sins, was buried, resurrected for you, you receive the righteousness required to get to heaven. It's been imputed to your account, all by faith in the finished redemptive work. Believe what Jesus Christ did for you. It's that easy. It's that simple. So again, the seven points of truth, very simple. I encourage you to know it, review it. We've all sinned. Wages of sin is death. Heaven's a perfect place. Man cannot earn salvation. Christ died for your sins. Only believe and then you can know you have eternal life, which you can never, ever lose, which is great. These things have written on you. Believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may believe in the name of the Son of God. Awesome stuff. So practice the wallet gesture and, you know, hit the seven points of truth and share that with your friends. Practice that with your spouse. Practice it with your kids. Great way to witness. Great way to, you know, share the testimony of Jesus Christ. So you know what? People can hear a clear gospel. They can make a decision. They want to receive it or not. We want everybody to hear it. And ultimately, they can make a decision. Yes, I believe that or no. You know, so we want people to hear it. That's our job. So if you have any questions, you can email me at the good news voice, the good news voice at gmail.com. Thank you.